What's up everyone, it's me, it's me, it's the action figure freak once again. Big thanks to all of you who clicked on this video and also big thanks to all my subscribers. As you can see this time I got the Street Fighter 2 action figure collection started. Well, we reviewed some Tekken figures before a short while. But I thought Ryu is also in a Smash game so he's a must have. So let's just don't waste too much time and dive right into this. Okay, here's a quick first look at the figure itself like always and I gotta say it has some big similarities to the Tekken action figures I opened before a short while but I gotta say they also are I would, I would almost say far better made so let's just look into the details right now First up, I mean, you already see there's an awesome, really cool diorama box on there. Jada Toys are doing something pretty cool with that. Uh, that's probably my first Jada figure. And let's just see the accessories at first we got here. Let me just fix the light real quick. We got a pretty cool face here, which isn't too, too bad, I would say. It's pretty accurate. By the way, sorry for that thing here on my finger. I... <laughs> When I made those titties for the uh, Emma Frost figure that I uploaded today, I just cut my finger pretty badly. Uh, so yeah, we got that head, then we get some kind of angry head, and we have also interchangeable hands. And I gotta say, these are really good. So far better than, I would say, the Tekken figure hands, not from the detail or anything, but they click way easier. You don't feel like you're breaking the movability, you make them loose or anything by sticking them in. It's just pretty easy getting them in. But I think the left and right uh, swivel will, yeah, get loose after a while. Um, but yeah, let's just focus on the articulation. For that, I would say... Uh, let's just start with the head. We got the exact same, yeah, the exact same articulation as the Street Fighter figures. I think just that little dot in here gives that head way more depth. I, I'm pretty sure that ain't on the Street Fighter figures. The headband got some gummy bands on the back, so keep that in mind. It could rip off pretty easy, but it's it's giving that figure a pretty cool vibe. We got here that gummy cape, which is awesome. We got, I think, almost the exact same material on the Tekken figures. We even got a pin in here, so we could almost open it. Oh, no way. No way. We can remove the whole cape. Okay, that... I didn't try it on the Tekken figures. But I guess that wasn't possible. So that's awesome. You see how soft that cape is so it ain't in the way of posing the figure. But then we can put it away is a really cool feature and it can make us see the whole body a little bit better. That joint here is really tight but that ain't too bad. Uh, we got a little looser tight down here on the hips. Uh, then that we don't have that on the Tekken figures. We got here some some butterfly joints, which I rarely see on cheap figures. Um, double jointed elbows. The arms are really stiff, gotta say. Uh, and horizontal hinges on all the hands. Ball joints on the shoulders, which is awesome. Uh, we don't got this pulling motion shit here like on the Street Fighter figures, but. That, that's pretty good because it <laughs> wasn't that good on the Street Fighters. We got swivels here on the legs. Double jointed knees right here that move pretty good. Uh, vertical hinges on the feet and swivels as well. At, oh, okay, on the shin we got swivels or the lower feet here. And swivels here on the feet directly. 
so gotta say that is really awesome we ain't finished with that one we get a little display stand for the attack effect and the awesome thing is look inside here we got this yeah his hands pressed into there so you can see how he smashes that uh, that ball out so that's also pretty accurate holy shit why is there so much dust in there how how long was this box standing holy hell but yeah that that's a really cool feature i like that and also that we got a working stand for it because mostly we don't have something like this and yeah let's just compare it to one or two of the street fire figures and let's just end this after that i put the clothes back on and i gotta say even though with this gummy shell here that is really easy i'm i'm remembering from uh, Mattel's action figures when I had the, some some rubber plastic clothes These were always pretty hard to put on But now let's put them side to side as you see So the size is almost the same which is pretty awesome that you can mix and match These are a little bit bulkier uh, Here we got some butterfly joints on the arms as I already said here we just have that up and down shoulder motion it's hard to explain but it ain't really working as they planned it gotta say that too uh the movability on the body and hips is the same but as you see here on his cloth it's just one line you can't unequip it and under it it's not that clean made as on the real figure but you shouldn't pull this away that's the other thing we got those up and down leg motion, but <laughs> that's really annoying, gotta say. So I would say this one is way, way better. Also, if you look at the skin tone, the skin tone is here way more detailed. We got all around here those orange lines, those darker lines. And I gotta say that's really cool. Some veins and stuff, and the hat skin is also... I can't pull that into words so gotta say if you want to start collecting the Street Fighter line that that's worth it that's actually really worth it you got some really toyetic figures with a good background display with some effects and I think almost everything that you need as accessories so that's that's cool and on a cheap price point so I paid like I think 25 euros for this Normally it should be like 30 euros Damn that was that was a good figure didn't expect that so yeah for today. That's pretty much everything Hope you have an awesome day and action out